So inductive reasoning is the process of reaching a general conclusion by examining specific examples. So for example, we use inductive reasoning to predict the next number. 1, 5, 9, 13, and 17. So for the solution, each successive number is 4 larger than the preceding number. Thus, we predict that the next number in the list is 4 larger than 17, so which is 21. Okay, so we have 21. So what do you think is the next? So the next number must be 4 larger than 21. So in that case, 21 plus 4, so you have 25, okay? Now we consider the following procedure. We pick a number, multiply by 9, add 15 to the product, divide the sum by 3, and subtract by 5. So let us try uh, the number 2. Okay, so we pick uh, number 2. Then we multiply that 2 by 9. So you have 18. Add 15 to the product. So add 15 to uh, 18. You have 33. Divide the sum by 3, you get 11, and then subtract by 5, so you get 6. So the result here will be 6. Okay, now so we try uh, 6. We follow the same procedure, so we start with 6, we pick a uh, 6. Multiply 6 by 9, you have 54. Add 15 to the product, so add 15 to 54, you have 69. Divide that by 3, so you have 23. And then subtract by 5, you get 18. So the result here is 18. So now if you pick a 7, multiply that by 9, you get 63. Okay. Add 15 to... 63, you get 70, 78, divided by 3, you get 26, and then add, fifth, add 5, uh, subtract 5, I mean, so you get 21, so the result here is 21. So if we follow the same procedure, so uh, the result for, if we pick 10, that will become 30. If we pick 14, we should get 40. Okay, so now try to pick your two numbers and um, evaluate the result. So what can you observe on uh, these results? Okay, so we pick 2, we get 6, we pick 6, we get 18, we pick 7, we get 21, we pick 10, we get 30, and the number 14, we get 42. And so it seems that these numbers here are 3 times the, the number that we pick. So Kunyari, itong 6, that is just 2 times 3. This 18 is 6 times 3. 21 is 7 times 3. 30 is 10 times 3. 
14, uh, I mean 42 is just 14 times 3. 